Hello, Crypto Tester here. Welcome to the show. This time I will present you uh, something different related to the NFTs, so non fungible tokens. Probably uh, you've already seen, you've already heard about them. It's like collectible stuff like this ones, like you see some images of monsters. And this is a demo which I found on Twitter, link in the description where you can buy this kind of stuff not with real money but with FUBAR tokens you use a different blockchain which is called Proton blockchain you see the bottom here more info which wallet you can uh, have only on the mobile so here I already connected it but if I sign out here you click connect wallet then you can see here you can use either Proton wallet or Anchor Anchor didn't try this one I tried this shows you like a QR code which you can scan with your mobile app and then you connect the wallet by authorizing the action on the mobile app. Now it's connected, you can see my balance here. In this marketplace you have to deposit some, f uh, some FUBAR tokens by clicking deposit and here I already have deposited 148 and to get more of this because it's um, fake money so you need FUBAR, click here here you go to an fosse fochet i don't know what it's in english you connect the fosse as well to your wallet and then you can claim you can claim every one hour 100 fubar tokens so in this case i already claimed it a few minutes ago because if, if i click it again um in telling you you have failed the captcha requirements anyway you have to do it um on the mobile at, at best but let's say i refresh here Probably the Brave Shields holds are messing up sometimes because it's a CAPTCHA so go here and here the real message is this one um, that I have to wait one hour so anyway it, it's, uh, it's simple enough to click here and then they magically appear in your balance so when you when you have a balance then on, on the mobile then you can see you can put enter the number here so which is 100 and then you click add funds and then on your mobile, in your Proton wallet, then you have to authorize the transaction. In my case, I don't have 100 because I already sent them before, so that's why I receive an error here. But else I would have sent money here. And to buy NFTs, what you do is you go to one of these uh, monsters that you can afford to buy. So, for example, in my case, I can go to the this one, um, the green one. I go to this one or the blue one I mean I already have enough money to buy them and then you can choose the, the one you want you can either buy one that is a bit more expensive because the number is nicer or I have no idea about what uh, what is worth to buy I buy normally the cheapest I go here and then I get this one for example and then I click buy and again I need to confirm on my mobile uh, wallet the action so I click authorize put the pin code or my fingerprint and the transaction is done so to see your nfts there is even here a link my nfts and you see that i already bought a few doubles and i already put one for sale how i did that um, it's simple i just go for example this one and then here I can enter the price I want to sell this one. So, for example, I can I can try to sell this one for I don't know. Like, let's make it accessible. 400. So, mark for sale. And again, I have to authorize this. That's it. So I go again to my NFTs, and you can see that two of them are for sale. If I click on this one that I just listed. It shows all the history. If this was sold or bought a few times, you would see a history here. So this is uh, not the case now because this is new. But in the future, when all of this will be rare, then you will see a history, of course. Um, like if if you just click one, like of these ones, and you click, I don't know, like the one that is a. Uh, here for 888 I'm, I'm curious here it's loading the history see here you can see the history this was already bought and sold a few times look at this 6000 fubar 
the beginning was only 16. Wow, na nice. That's a very long history. So imagine this one with real money. But this is not on Ethereum, it's on Proton Chain, so it's different. All of this happens without paying a single cent in fees. That's the cool, cool thing of it. I'm very interested to create my own NFTs, but I don't want to spend gas for the stuff. So I think this is a nice um, blockchain project to allow this kind of use case. Alright, if this video was interesting for you, please smash the like button, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye bye!